What's going on guys? So before I actually start this video, I just want to start with a quick announcement and that is that I have got a new training, live training slash webinar um, up and running now. So if you have not checked it out yet, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below. It's basically on how to start and scale your very own social media marketing agency so you never have to chain yourself to a desk or show up to you know a job that you don't actually like. Okay, now with that said, um, I still get a lot of questions about uh, the retainers and how it's actually possible that you can ask 1,000 up to 5,000 a month Pay clients because a lot of people still compare this to you know a regular full-time job where you get paid roughly two thousand a month and you know they, they can't understand that you can ask that same amount for a full-time job you can ask the same amount um, per client now per month whereas with a normal job you're working 40 50 60 hours a week and with social media marketing you know potentially you could only be working one hour a day and that is the very first thing that you need to stop doing is comparing it to a full-time job because with a full-time job you are basically uh, trading your time for money okay so it's very much time based whereas uh, social media marketing is value based okay so you are worth more to the client because you can make them more money okay there's only so much money that um, someone who's working 40 hours a week, you know, just doing regular like, administrative work, there's only so much money that that person can earn for the business, okay? Whereas with social media marketing, you know, it's very much input and output. So um, with social media marketing, you um, put, let's say, 500 into ads, and because you know how Facebook ads work or how lead generation works, you, know, you can actually get them a 10x return. So from the 500, you can actually make them 5,000, maybe even 10,000 a month back okay and that is what how you need to basically see uh, social media marketing as uh, input and output okay if you are making more money than the business is putting into ads you know if you are getting them a return on their investments into you and into social media marketing then there's no reason why that client wouldn't pay two thousand or up to five thousand a month and there's no reason why that client should leave you okay so you need to realize that facebook ads and social media marketing is a high income skill okay it's something that not everyone can do you know there's only our generation basically that fully understands or has the potential to fully understand social media marketing and because only a few people can do it relatively few you know it's actually a very uh, in-demand skill and it's something that you can charge a lot of money for it you know just look at for example professional footballers you know there's a reason why they get paid you know uh, upwards of a hundred thousand a week it's because the skill that they ha they possess you know to be a professional footballer is very much in demand and you know football clubs know that with a football of that talent or someone who possesses that skill you know, can actually win them silverware and like for example when cristiano ronaldo went to madrid you know they earned the money back that they spent on him you know what was it 80 million at the time uh, back in 2009 they earned that money back within a few weeks with merchandise and shirt sales etc okay so they looked at the output and the input and they realized that okay you know we're putting so much money into one player but they've already gotten so much money back and that is basically the same with social media marketing be it as you know at a smaller scale so they are putting let's say they put uh, they spend 1500 on you, you know, for your value, and they put an additional 500 into ads, so that is 2000 a month they are uh, putting in. And if you can get them uh, 10,000 or 5,000 a month back, then there's no reason why that client or business would leave you, okay? And this works the same for um, you know bigger clients as well as with smaller clients. If your retainer is 500 a month total, and you're only doing social media management for them, but uh, you know because of your posts and you know the engagement that you're generating on their Instagram or Facebook page gets them maybe a few extra sales or an extra client depending on what type of business it is, you know then if if that is more than the money they are spending on you, then you know there's no reason why they should leave you. And the same goes for um, you know if you're doing social media or Facebook ads for a personal trainer, you know they are spending a thousand into you and the Facebook ads combined and you know you get them one extra client and that client is 1500 uh, you know worth 1500 to that personal trainer then you've made them 500 dollars pounds euros whatever and then again you know there's no reason why they should leave you or why they should not pay you that amount of money because you've made them more money than they spent on you so it's an investment and they got a return on the investment and that is why you are able 
to charge that much for social media marketing and for Facebook ads. Okay guys, so I hope you got something out of this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this, uh, your opinion on it, and what you'd like to see for my channel next. Like I said guys, if you have not attended my free training just yet, make sure you do. It's about 90 minutes long, it's jam-packed with value, and I also give a few freebies at the end as well. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.